Ah, the first morning on the farm never smells so good. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Six Ashes here on Farming Simulator 19. Today, well, we're getting work done from where we left off the last time we were on here. We we are currently in the chicken pen as well. This is going to be interesting because we will be using this eventually, just not right now. So, what do we have in here? If you guys didn't catch the first episode, we have moved. So, a lot of people, pretty much everybody that starts, at least a new farmer, will start with field 51. We sold that. Got rid of it. No more. What I do have now is this area. Plus, I have purchased the outside of the map. I don't know if I need it, but... I have it so and i purchased field 19 as well i feel like it helped square off our main farm area right here and it just felt weird not owning this field i could see it i just couldn't get to it so now it feels good so uh it might look like we've got a lot of fields but actually there's not a whole lot going on we have our sheep pasture we have our cow pasture we've got a couple smaller fields down here and we've got field 19 and field 16. 16 is actually our big field along with field 14, but 2014 and 15 are all grass. So really not a lot going on there either. Speaking of grass, we are going to have to do grass work eventually. We have a chicken, sheep, and cow farm. So you can imagine we are going to have to take full advantage of that. So eventually I would like to get some stuff like that. I'm back and forth between starting with cows and starting with sheep. I think the wool from sheep might benefit us more in the long run, at least to start with and make things nice and easy. So we'll do chickens, but we'll say possibly doing chickens and sheep to start with. Not set in stone, but I think, yeah, I, I think that's exactly what we'll do. But first, We've got to get some harvesting done. Let's jump in this bad boy right here. I love, love, love this FMZ. I didn't think that I would enjoy using this. And like, awkwardly, I have thoroughly enjoyed using this. Uh, we did have pretty massive field yesterday, so I didn't use it the entire time. But, <laughs> we're going to use it today, baby. Let's go. So we've got a bunch of fields to do. We have four total fields. We've got a wheat field, a barley field, canola, and we have soybeans. No oats this time around. I apologize. It just didn't happen. So I think what we're going to do is start with the oat, oat field, barley field. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn our HUD on so we know exactly what's going on. I should probably use my KBM switch to control the correct computer what in the world just happened there we go all right we're in let's check straw swath is not showing up though a bit interesting um turn on harvester then maybe huh so straw swath turn on harvester pipe out oh i gotta unfold it don't i yeah oh it's still not showing Huh. Ooh, that's interesting. That's not going to go well. Um, Can I have straw swap, please? I know you will do it. Yo. Um, something ain't right about this. Unless you just can't turn it off. And if that's the case, well, then that's per per perfectly, totally fine. Let's jump in and see if that's the case. Maybe you just can't turn it off. 100% the case. All right. So you cannot turn off the straw swath on this. I was completely unaware of that. All right. Nonetheless, here's what we've got. We have wheat, barley, canola, soybeans. We're going to have to get all of that done. And it's going to take quite a long time to go through. I am going to do pretty much most of this off screen. We'll go from one thing to the other. Uh, we will be saving straw from all of the crops. As you may know, we now have the straw me mod on PC. We are taking full advantage of the straw me mod. The straw me mod allows you to take canola and soybean straw, just like you would with, uh, well, wheat, barley, and oats. Allows you to take that as well 
as the stalks from corn and bale it all up. It was really, really cool. So we're going to take full advantage of all that, but we're going to have to pick it all up. So we will be buying a loading wagon. Now, I've already got one that I brought into the game that I really like. We're going to be using some Kron stuff, or Krona, uh, however you want to say it. It's fine with me. I like Krona, <laughs> even though I'm American. Krone! Uh, I prefer the Krone stuff, and I think it's going to look really, really good on this map. So that is exactly what we're going to be using here. So... Let's get this party started. Well, here we are about uh, 20 minutes or so real lifetime. Um, this combine's not like this combine is negatively working. <laughs> not in a bad way. It's, it's not, it's, it's not going to do the job, man. So what we need to do is we need to break down and get us something that'll actually do the job. Now, I don't actually want to sell this. I think we could get away with not selling this. I don't know, let's find out. 21,000, 19,000. So that's, I mean, that's more than 20 or $40,000 between the two. We might could use that 40 grand. We will have to think on it. We will have to think on it. Let's take a look and see. What do we got? 26,000 liters. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. Fortunately, I don't have a tipper that'll hold all this, so I gotta go. I gotta go do it myself. Oh, we made some really nice lines here, but I've been watching a whole lot of Grey Still Plays while doing this. I think I got through two episodes, something like that. So, yeah, we were we were here for a minute on this field, but it's done. So there's that, and we need to figure out. Let's see, is this big enough so I can get this header through? Yes. Let's see here. Can I just put this in here to start with? We'll put that there for now, and we'll see. But we need to we need to look at some combines and see if there's anything that we can go invest in and maybe make this a little bit easier on ourselves. I'm thinking like a Massey or a Fent, something like that. You know, don't go too crazy with it, but you know, we need something. So this one, it's, there's not enough power. There's not enough... The speed, I don't care about the speed. It's just not enough power, and the header isn't big enough because the power is too low. So, yeah, that's a an extreme. Oh, I forgot to change the empty speed of this. Boy! <laughs> yeah, good luck. Sit around and hang out and wait on this bad boy for a while. It's not even past it yet. All right, whatever. I'll just let that go do its thing. Let's um let's take a look at other combines because we're gonna have to buy something. Um, my first and obvious choice is always to go to the Massey right here. It just seems easy. It makes sense. But is that what we need? <laughs> I don't think we need something like that. I think we need more like a Fent, something like that. Massey is cool. Let's see, where's those Fent combines at? I went past them already, didn't I? So we've got two Fent combines. <laughs> If I can find the darn things, there we go. So I've got one that's a custom. I need to go in and, and finish editing this one out. But uh, this will will actually do a few things that we need, um, including headers and that kind of thing. So we could go this route, it's $220,000. We would go with the wide tires just because it looks better. So 222 grand, we got 178. Take out a loan and you're good. So if we do that, of course, we've got our header for it. Headers are going to be extremely difficult to get around from point A to point B. This map itself lends itself to a Crisoni header being the way to go. Unfortunately, that combine, I don't think that Fent does not work very well with the Crisoni headers. Uh, as a matter of fact, really the... Well, I would, I would need the... Uh, this guy. <laughs> This is beautiful. However, I just don't have the just don't have the the money for it. Yeah, we'll 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 say it's we'll say it's the money's fault. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe something around here. These work pretty well. 1660 that works pretty well with a six meter Crisoni header. But again, I think I could sit here and talk all day. We need to figure out what we're gonna do. So I'm thinking Fent. I think we go with that. We've already got a Fent on uh, on lock. And these are the new Fent color. So it'd be a little bit newer. We could change over the color that we've got on our other one to match as well. 
Yeah, I think this is the way we're gonna have to go. It's gonna save us a whole lot of time. Are we still going? We still are. We got 12,000 liters left. That's all right, no big deal. Let's finish this. I'm gonna jump out of uh, the game real quick. We'll go in, I'll modify that combine to work, and then we'll be back and we'll do it. Yeah, let's finally empty it in. We're ready to go. Let's make a sale. Repair, obviously. 26,023, so we got much more than I thought we were going to. Very exciting there. Let's get down to our main farm down here and let's get this set. Let's find ourselves a new combine. And where am I gonna, where am I gonna have it delivered? Eh, in here's fine, you know what, in here's fine. We're gonna need a header trailer eventually. Anyway, might as well put it in here now. Boom, there we go. All right, let's get it. Going into harvesters. And we are going to be getting the Fent. Now, I have modified this very slightly. Now it holds 100,000, just like the Bison. It's, it's, it's cute. It's, it holds just as much as the other thing did. Not the worry. See, 220. All right. What was our delivery fee? $5,000? Yeah, we're, we don't play that delivery fee game. There we go. So now we need a header for it. I would prefer to use the Crisoni headers. However, sometimes they push down a little bit on the front. So let's see how much one costs. We'll go with the largest one. Um, I believe the largest one's about $7,000, something like that, or 7,000, um, 7,000, seven meters, as opposed to the nine meters we would be getting. So this is the one, 40 grand. Let's see, do we have, no, we'd have to go with an Agco. That's totally cool though. So $40,800 is what we need. So let's take out a $40,000 loan. There you go. All right, let's go back. Let's get it. We will double check just to make sure that it works and that we're fine. These combines do kneel. So that's something that a lot of people don't know. Let's see, 720 modded. Oh, 52, darn it. <laughs> I need more many. I looked at the wrong one, there we go. So. We'll get this. This will go, I believe, 12 miles an hour as opposed to, I think it's 12. Yeah, this goes 12 miles an hour as opposed to our uh, faster, I think it was 13. So it's, yeah, it's only a mile per hour slower, it's fine. There we go. Let's get that, let's find out how much it cost. 1320 to have delivered. So 1320, we'll get that added back in. And then we're good to go. We'll go ahead and repay at least a little bit of what we need. Let's go ahead and do that. You see? There you go. Yeah. So the back of it actually kneels to bring up room for the header. And generally, this is still a bit of an issue. We'll lower this and see what kind of push we get. Actually, I'm not seeing any push at all. This might just be the perfect combination. Ooh, let's get this backed up a little bit. So we are in the hole a little bit, not too bad. We're in the hole 50 grand, so we've got a $50,000 loan taken out. Um, that's gonna be, oh, we are stuck, stuck, aren't we? Yes, we are. Let's back out, how about that? We'll just back out of here. So we're $50,000 in the hole. We'll definitely make that back today, but we still got other things to purchase. We've still got to buy a loading wagon and possibly even mowers to be used in the next episode, because in the next episode, we're gonna be coming through and we've got to get stuff done for uh, for sheep. Chickens, we could probably already get. Um, I'm just not going to worry about that. We're running at time zero right now just to give myself a little bit extra time to get all this done. Oh, come on, really? I can't I can't back in and out of here because it's, <laughs> it's such a big combine. There we go. Hey, at least we're rocking. This is the tightest area that we're going to see. There's that. We'll get the combine to kneel. We'll come through here, we'll open up our header, and straw swath is enabled, so we're good to go there. Not bad, not bad. I think this is a great investment. I think the header choice is perfect. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. I think this is this is the way to go right here. This is 100% the way to go for this. So, let's get it. Ah, oh, no. I thought it was fine. It didn't push up earlier. The combine kneeled. Yeah, it's kneeled about as much as it goes. Oh, well. As long as we can still go 12 miles an hour, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, we're rocking 12 miles an hour. We're good. 
This is a speed where I can say, you know what, I'm fine doing that. I'm fine going 12 miles an hour. Um, we're running at three meters wider than we were. Meeting, meaning we're going to get this this done about 40% faster than, than we would have. So I'm still totally cool with that. As long as it doesn't take like 20 to 25 minutes like that field did. That was rough. All right. Let's hit our headlands and let's get this bad boy done. And in other fields, down. So we have now done... <laughs> it's actually like 24 hours later. Shh. We have now finished completely both of these fields. We didn't get too much either. $16,500. So not really a ton off of that one field. Not too bad. But we do have all the straw, so at least there's that. Let's... Can, can we get out of here? We have to go through here spin around and then head back out i think we can do it yeah so this is another one of those maps where literally everything will go through the hedges except for headers if you guys have played on like oxygen david maps bullet bill maps from back on 17 you will be very very familiar with that setup and and why that is of course so let's get this dump there this should empty fairly quickly and then we will have some more now wheat is being sold however barley will not be sold we got 26,000 liters of barley only 16,000 liters of wheat so there you go keep that in mind so we're going to keep that barley sell the wheat prices are much actually <laughs> i say that we have better prices for barley right now <laughs> who would have ever thought that would be a thing all right here's where we get to go to the big fields we've got two larger fields one is soybeans one is canola and we've got to hit both of them now one great thing is now that i'm recording this before i didn't know what i was going to do as far as wind rowers go i was just going to buy a pottinger one and pray we could do something with it however we don't have to do that anymore wow i'm not going to be able to get into this field at all am i i can't <laughs> i don't I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here. Um, maybe? Let's see. Let's turn on all oh, wheel there. That is the only way I could get in this field. I might, might need to take a look at that. But for now, I think we'll be okay. This was supposed to be a grass field only, so I kind of turned it into a canola field. Maybe that's my fault. And yeah, I'm definitely not going to do that again. I'm going to plant grass in here the next time around. So there would not be canola. Go through, double check, make sure straw swath is still on. Good things, good things. Let's adjust the header. Let's bring that up. Boom, good. Drop it. And let's see if we can get ourselves a bit of a headland down here. Straw is dropping out the bottom. Perfect. So again, just like before, we will be using the straw me mod a mod that i really like and i think might become one of my favorite mods it would be really neat if the guys that did the straw harvest would be able to talk to the guys that do the straw me mod and maybe figure something out between the two of them might be kind of cool to see i would love a collaboration like that but it's just me how about this? Let's finish this one. We'll tell you how much canola we've got, and we'll take a look at the straw swath as well. Keep in mind, we will have to pick up all the straw. <laughs> Money's good, but God, takes a while. Well, this has been nice. This field only took like 10 minutes to do. Very good. It's looking great, and we should be able to hit the entire thing right here. And that is a fact. Good looking area through here. Our straw swath looks phenomenal. We've gotten 20,000 liters of canola off this field surprising because i didn't think we would get that much but i guess it is larger the field that we're on is much larger than 24 or 21 sorry 21 is actually pretty small considering everything so there's 20,000 liters of canola depending on the price that's 20 to 40 thousand dollars just right there let's see let's see if we can make this happen grass is going back in that field oh come on dj <laughs> i'm putting grass back in that field and never ever ever doing anything else in that field ever again uh, uh, uh. no all right one more field to do it crash 
<laughs> one more fill to do at least for today and then we're gonna start getting everything sold this is all part of the plan at the beginning there's not a lot of fun stuff that happens at the beginning just because you have to make money that's what we're doing right now okay there's that one now i need to figure out how in the world to get into the other field i think i know and let's see if i know <laughs> come along with me guys come on come on all right so we go this way we go past this come up here on the left and then go around the back side of this and there should be a gate right here there is we should be able to fit through there with our crusoni header nice and easy there we go all right through and then through this field and then hang a left we should be good all of this is going to get mowed too by the way so we're going to mow this and we're going to take the uh the sheep pasture we're going to mow that uh, we're not using seasons therefore we don't have the grazing mod we're, we're not using anything like that whatever food we give them is the food oh come on really <laughs> i need to quit looking off screen all right there's that and then last but not least i love how this is actually forcing me to go through the right gates with this header otherwise i would definitely not be doing this the right way all right there we go yeah so one more field it's a soybean field it is a fairly decent sized field not quite twice as big as 19 but it is quite hefty this one is going to be nice because we get a lot more money for soybean straw than we do anything else see 513 dollars per thousand liters as opposed to um actually is that canola straw i don't know what any of this is <laughs> i think it's soybean canola and then corn straw either way we're gonna do quite well and then we get to come through pick all this up and sell it all with the crop oh i'm excited about that baby let's go and not bad there Twenty-three thousand liters bringing us somewhere between again 23 40 000, 23 46 thousand dollars somewhere in there I don't know. let's find out and see what we would get if we sold it right now do we have a good price do we not have a good price twenty seven hundred dollars yeah that's that's well over forty thousand that's over fifty thousand dollars you're looking closer to 60 plus very very happy about that and the price is only going up so now we have finished harvest it is now time to figure out a how we're going to sell each crop b when are we going to get chickens and c got some ideas about some things that i want to use because with maps like this it is generally fairly tough to get into each spot for example like right here this is going to be a, a heck of a, a turn and we need to keep that in mind Hey, we made it though we need to keep that in mind when purchasing equipment especially with this farm being the one that we're using at least right now it probably will hang on to it for a good while this is a great farm so with that said i'm thinking it runner yeah it runner i'm thinking something like that possibly this style maybe not that specific one Maybe something more specific to like this look right here. I do like this. They, they have a shorter version as well, which <laughs> we might be better off with. But um, all of the stuff that I'm seeing makes it seem like this would be a really, really good idea. And the reason being is we've got stuff for um, we've got stuff for chickens, for example, with this kind of thing. We've got stuff for uh milk auto loading milk over even though we'll very likely not use a auto loading milk thing um so we've got that through there another thing is backing up and moving forward and stuff is a big uh it's a big consideration with this so i i foresee us needing something like that i like the tipper that we've got right now as a matter of fact i tried to make one and uh ran into a bit of a problem <laughs> it didn't uh it didn't work so 
<laughs> so I guess we've got this for now. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. But what we need to figure out now is selling. Let's do it. So we have wheat selling for $1,100 a green coat. Not bad. We have our canola selling a green coat as well. Very good. Very good. And looks like we're heading to um, Severn Valley stores for our canola. For the, um, the, yep, the other one. <laughs> All right. Let's figure out a trailer idea and we'll move from there what's the most we've got Twenty six thousand. Oh, oh we're not even using that so 23 all right what can we get that would pay off i've got it i know exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna sell this one because this one stinks <laughs> no but we do need to sell it so let's get that sold and now let's go into stroudman because i have piddled as it were and i have messed and I have made a pretty sweet set of trailers here. So we've got three modded versions of the original Stroutman bundle. This is an awesome trailer pack. I love it, but I've never used it. So I went in and I did <clears throat> did my own thing. Yeah, uh, we, we about to do that. <laughs> $50,000 for one, or 50,000 liters for one. It's enough. <laughs> It'll do the job, man. It will definitely do the job. But we're not just going to get one. We've got a couple different models here. I've done all of them to be exactly the same. So I think what we'll do is try to get like one trailer like this and then another trailer like the other. Well, they're going to be super difficult to get in and out anyway. <laughs> we should just get this and be done with it. Let's see. All the colors are good. I don't want to change those up. I'm, I'm fine with them. 50,000 liters. That's more than enough to do anything that we need to do. Uh, let's see. We do have a lizard tire, though. I don't think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to stick with the trailer board. Let's see. What's the skinniest trailer board tire we could put on? Actually, those look good right there. Um, without ladder is fine. Let's do a support itself. Oh, we need... Do we need money? No, we don't. Okay, good. I was about to say, uh, so we'll have $300 left. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, this is going to do the job. So whatever. Did it really take money from us? It did. 287 delivery fee. I don't think so. 287. Got it. Let's go. Let's double check again just to see prices. So we're heading to Grain Co. It first is going to be weed. We're just going to go ahead and sell everything in order like that. I think this should be down here. Yep, there it is. And because there's, well, nothing that I have to worry about there, you just do like that. This is going to be very interesting because this holds so much and it's going to be real weird to watch. You know what? I'm just going to go back through here. I don't even care. Boop. Love that. The only thing that doesn't go through is headers. So this right here is why I decided to go with a, a single, single actual trailer, because you've got to back up like this. And this can be tough. All right, wheat, overload the wheat. It's not going to take too long. And then we are going to head, I guess that's, um, I don't remember, where are we supposed to be going again? Grain Co, I believe? I think so, yeah. Grain Co, yeah, Grain Co it is. So we're heading to that right there no don't visit the darn thing <laughs> select tag Ugh, that's one thing after another isn't it? it sure is all right let's get over there crop cell number one here we go we'll get this to dump should dump fairly quickly i think i've got the back set to 2000 or 2500 liters per second not too bad okay we're at eighteen thousand dollars there good good not bad at all let's uh let's see let's see if we can get through oh we're gonna get hit no <laughs> let's uh let's get back down we've got let's see three more crops no just two more though we will need something to go in the back of this eventually um real quick show you guys this so i found a quick way to get back to the main farm so go over here past to the bga actually you don't have to come straight down to the BGA. It's just, I found it's nice to kind of go chikonk and chikonk. You can pick any way that you want. 
it's just keep going <laughs> just like that and our farm is actually down there we're technically in our own field right now so there's that all right just my uh my recommendation i've found that that works the best for me but you could also just go straight up the back like that as well that works too it's quick it's easy there's no crops in the ground doesn't matter crop cell number two right here this is our canola again coming to the same place we're getting quite a bit of money for this one so this is pretty good not jumping up as high as i was hoping it would but that's still not bad Thirty-four thousand dollars. still fairly decent for what we're getting so very happy about that don't hit me 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 yes this is another way i found um you could also go this way and literally go straight down to your farm this way as well kind of unrealistic but ta-da dj go ham <laughs> goodness gracious we have been all over the map trying to get over here but we finally got over here with the soybeans i don't even know what this green store is called but hey we are here this is the uh seven valley stocks seven valley store sorry all right cool drop this off so we beans this is a good amount like i said this should put us over a hundred thousand dollars with the amount that we've got here come on don't make a fool out of me there we go nice all right so we have currently got hundred and sixteen thousand dollars in here now if i go over here we actually only have sixty-six thousand dollars, but that is going to change however to do the next step to get the next stuff that we need to get done done oh, wrong way wrong way wrong way <laughs> we we are going to have to really get some work done hey there's another farm over here of course there is why wouldn't it be um we're gonna have to get some more stuff done the next step is going to require windrowing everything together collecting it and then taking it to get sold it's a whole lot of work we could do it but it is a whole lot of work so if you're if you're down make sure you're looking forward to that because it's gonna take us yeah we got a lot we even have to buy mowers and everything it's it's a it's a step-by-step -step process doesn't mean it's not a lot of work though and before we do all that it's gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like on the video get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel all being said i hope you have a great day we will see you later